welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be that tag that's going around with everyone choosing their top three in every category, but I'm putting a little twist on it because I'm going to do my top three in every category at Sephora. I've wanted to do this for a long time now, but with everything going on in my life, I have just not had enough time to film it, but I'm off today. I had to take Copper to the vet for a shot. I've been running errands like crazy, so I'm a sweaty mess, but I wanted to take the time to do this for you and get it up during the sale. So today is November 1st and today is the day that Rouge members can get their 20% off. And I think it lasts until the 11th. I will put the dates on the screen for you. Today is also the day that everyone, whether you are an insider, VIB, or Rouge, you can start getting 30% off of any Sephora collection item. But keep that in mind, you do not have to be a Rouge member or VIB to get that 30% off. So if you're interested, spoiler alert, I do have a few items that I recommend from Sephora collection in today's video. So we will get into all that, but I will put the dates on screen for everyone from insiders to Rouge, the days that you can shop the sale. I thought it would be nice to not only show you my top three in every category, but also speak about what I would recommend in the Sephora sale. So we're kind of just combining this video. If I have a product that cannot be purchased at Sephora and I feel compelled to share with you, I will. I'm going to show you mostly Sephora items, but if there's something that's in my collection that I think is like top tier, if I can get you a better deal, I will try that as well. If this sounds interesting to you. Or if you are nosy like me and just want to know what everyone loves in their collections, stick around, grab a snack. It's probably going to be a long video. Let's just talk about the best products that I've tested anyways. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Join me for all the fun beauty stuff. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with eyes and brows. I want to try to break this into as many categories as I can because I'm also going to try to put this on We'll just say the top. So okay. the first thing I want to mention is eye primers. I have notes, so I'm gonna keep looking to the side. This is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Weightless Eye Primer. It's $21 and you only get three ml, so you don't get very much product. I go through these pretty quickly, but I do recommend them on Sephora because you can get the 20% off if you're rouge like I am. And it has a four star rating. I feel like everyone loves it. If you've tried it, you know what it's about. It's very lightweight, it's very thin, but it also provides good coverage on your eyelids. It covers all the veins. And I feel like my eyeshadow just wears perfectly with this. I feel like there's absolutely nothing wrong with this product other than the size. It is a little small, top tier eye primer. Now, the other one is the ABH eye primer. This is the mini size, and that's the only one available on the website anyway. It's $13 for seven mLs. So you're getting four more mLs of product in this. It doesn't look like it, size comparison. It really doesn't, but you are. And this one only has 3.5 star rating. And I feel like I might know why with reading the reviews. It's almost white and it's kind of thick but it blends out very easily and I feel like it's better to wear with cool tone eyeshadows. Don't get me wrong, you could use any eyeshadow you want with this, but I feel like for me personally, I like to go in with this when I'm wearing cooler tones on my eyes. The next one is a little bit different of a product. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Intensifies Artistry One, $35. It only has three star on Sephora. A lot of it is because of the packaging now you click it up and it's like a, a stick gel formula, but what this does is it really does intensify your glitter shadows. So what I like to do, use my Rare Beauty, blend it out, and then before I put on my shimmer shades, I will put a little bit of this right on the lid and my shimmers will not budge. My glitters will not budge. I really do enjoy this and it makes them pop even more. So it's a beautiful product. Now, packaging, a lot of people say it's like, faulty but personal experience when i ordered this i ordered it from pat mcgrath website during her black friday sale which i would recommend you shop that sale over the sephora vib sale for pat mcgrath products because it's just a way better value but anyway if you get yours and it's not clicking up just keep clicking like click the crap out of it it will eventually start to move 
If not, you can take like a toothpick or something to kind of go down in there. And sometimes that's all it needs is like right on the very side of this component. If you stick it down in there just a little bit to kind of, I don't know, just to kind of get it away from the sides because I feel like this formula, it's sticking to the sides and that's why it's not clicking up. Just my opinion, that's what's happened to me. So I wanted to share that with you just in case you do have a problem like that because I've seen a lot of those reviews. And just so you know, I have some neighbors that are listening to music pretty loud and their bass is up really high. So if you hear that, I'm very sorry. I'll try to edit it out, but I had to film when I could. So here we are. Next category is brow gel. This is a long name, okay? Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting and Laminating Brow Gel. $17 for 4.5 grams, which is not very much. It has a 4.5 star rating on Sephora. I've never heard a bad word said about it. It is gorgeous. I use it every stinking day, even if I'm going for like this more minimal makeup look, because I had to hurry up and get out the door today. I still use this and I absolutely love it. So that would definitely be a top three, probably my favorite. All right, the next one is the ABH Brow Freeze Gel. This is the mini size. It is $13 for 4.5 mLs of product. And then the full size is seven mLs and it's $26. This is what the wand looks like. It has like a flat side, a big comb side and a small comb side. This one is much more wet. The formula takes a longer time to dry down. The Rare Beauty is just like a regular little spoolie. If it didn't take so long to dry down, I would probably love it a little bit more. Now this one's an oldie but a goodie. The Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, the Clear Brow Gel. This one is $26, seven mLs. It's got the perfect little wand, very similar to the AB8, but this one has a little bit of micro fine teeth on it and I love it. It's just always been a good, reliable brow gel. You can also get a mini for 15, that is 3.5 mLs, and it has a 4.5 star rating as well. So all the brow gels are good. <laughs> all right, moving on to brow pencil. This is the first category that I don't have one of them because I've used it up and I just haven't repurchased it. But just so you know, in some categories that will be the case but I still wanted to recommend them to you because they are a favorite. I just have so much in my collection that I wanna go through some things before I repurchase. Spoiler alert, some of these things I might purchase during the sale, but I'm not gonna mention those today because that's gonna be its own separate video. Now, brow pencil. The Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, I have it in the shade 3.5. It's $26 for 0 0.08 grams. So that's not very much, right? The mini is 15 and it's 0 0.04 grams. There are 12 shades total. I can use three or 3.5. Either one works pretty well for me and my hair color. I think 3.5 is more neutral. Three is a little bit warmer. I've loved this brow pencil for years and it's always gonna be in my favorites. The next one is the ABH Brow Wiz Ultra Slim Precision Brow Pencil, $25 for the full size. Where the mini is 13 and there's 12 shades again total. 4.5 star rating, just like the Benefit. Um, this one is a good pencil, don't get me wrong. I have it in the shade medium brown. I just feel like the pencil is just a hair bigger and a little bit more firm, I guess, than the Benefit. This one takes a little bit more pressure to get the hair-like strokes. It's not bad. I'm not trying to say it's bad or anything. It's a favorite, don't get me wrong. I just think the benefit is just ever so slightly more my speed. Both have a spoolie on the ends and they're very similar spoolies to be honest. This one I do not have in my possession right now, but it's the Urban Decay Brow Blade 2-in-1 Eyebrow Pen and Pencil. There are nine shades and it's $28. I'll put the picture on screen for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. I love that it's a duo because I love having a brow pen. I don't have a brow pen category because I don't have any that I recommend from Sephora other than this one. And it's included with a pencil. If you've not tried this product, it is very, very good. If you are looking for a brow pen, I hands down recommend over any other brow pen, the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Cannot go wrong with that product. It is amazing. 
So let's move to eyeshadow palettes. Now this one's exciting for me. Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude palette. This one is phenomenal. It has mostly neutral cool tones in it. There you go, there's the palette. It's like an everyday, just stunning palette. The shimmers are top notch. Let me just swatch a couple of them for you just because that's like, that's fun, right? <laughs> I like watching swatches. So here's Filigree and here's Muse right beside it. Look at that. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So Muse, I'm going to put another layer on it because it's harder to see on my skin tone, but these are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. The formula, everything about Natasha Denona's formula is just phenomenal, but the I Need a Nude is definitely a favorite, but here we have a new contender. The Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. This one just came out recently, and there you can see all these beautiful warm shades, and I do lean more warm. These are $69, and you get 15 shades, and they both have a 4.5 star rating. I'm going to do Snug and Push. They're very similar shades, so I kind of want to swatch them next to each other to see. I think Push is more of a topper shade and snug has more base to it but there you can see snug on top and push they're just shimmery beautiful shades and i highly recommend them the other palettes that i want to talk about this one is it was limited edition and it's no longer available but i would be so shocked if he doesn't bring this back as like a permanent palette because it just is perfection. The original Ethereal Eyes palette from Makeup by Mario. It's my favorite everyday palette. I absolutely love it. I've hit pan on one of the shades and I, I just can't see him not bringing this back. These are $69 as well and they are like just this gorgeous shimmery top coat kind of shimmer that in certain lighting just makes your eyelids look wet and gorgeous. I love it. I just recently picked up the Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette. For me personally, I don't know if I will gravitate towards this as much as the original, but it is still beautiful nonetheless. I'll swatch a couple of these for you. Look at these shimmers. The only thing I do want to mention to you is the formula is a little different between the two Ethereal Eyes palettes, but I still highly recommend them and I pray he'll bring the original back one day as a permanent collection item. It's so beautiful. I've got two more I want to show you, okay? So the new Huda Beauty, I have not even opened this yet. This just came in the mail. It's the Icy Nude Palette. I knew I wanted this palette the moment I saw it. I stalked Sephora. I stalked Huda Beauty's website. I'm like, whoever gets it first, I'm ordering first. I was at work and at like three... I don't know, 3.30 in the morning, it finally came available and I snagged it right away because I was so afraid that this would sell out before I could buy it on sale. It's so pretty. I don't want to even touch anything yet. It's so stunning. But let's try Iced Out. That is like the most beautiful iridescent pearl shade. Oh my God. It has the most gorgeous white to pink to blue to purple shift. Natural lighting right here in front of me, it looks pink, but I cannot get it to really show on camera, but it has gorgeous shift to it. And then let's try Aurora. There's Aurora and then VVS. There's VVS and Aurora. Look at those. I mean, I cannot wait to play with this. Huda's palettes are around the same price point, $68, $69. I'll have to put it on screen. I can't remember. But I literally just got this one in. I would recommend the Huda Beauty formula, the Makeup by Mario, and the Natasha Denona. I think those would be my top three eyeshadows that I would pick from Sephora. But 
If you're not able to order from Pat McGrath Labs or you just refuse to because of their shipping, sometimes their shipping is atrocious, but I personally haven't had any issues. I've just heard and seen and read things about it. But anyway, if you want to splurge on an eyeshadow palette, this is the one I would recommend from Sephora. The Pat McGrath Quad. It's the Divine Bronze Luxe Quad in Venusian Sunrise, $62. You only get four shades, but it has 4.5 star rating and the shades are beautiful. And what I love about this one specifically is you can have like a one and done look with just this palette. So you would use this shade as a transition in your crease and then you would use the darkest shade as an outer V color to give yourself some lift out in the outer V and you could also use that as liner and then you could use this beautiful shifty gold all over the lid and this in the inner corner. The only thing I would be missing is a very light shade to blend under the brow bone but you can use a powder for that. So let me just swatch this beautiful gold shifty shade for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Her formula is beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's just perfection and using the intensifies. Let me do that for you really quick. I wanna see if we can notice a difference. While I'm on here raving about it, let's see. So I'm gonna put this on my wrist right under that swatch. Oh yeah. Can you see how this has much more base to it? It has much more of an impact than just the regular swatch. It also looks a little bit more peachy when you do it like that. With the intensifies underneath, it has more of that base peachy color. So I'm telling you guys, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. <laughs> I'm more apt to purchase during Black Friday on her website because she has better deals. But Single shadows. I only have one with me, but I wanted to recommend three because I've tried them and I love them. I just need to purchase some more shades and have more in my collection. But anyway, I don't have these in my collection right now, but the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadows, you get seven mLs. There's four shades available and it's $35. It has a 4.5 star rating on Sephora's app. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I want to say the one that I had was Oyster Pearl. I'll put it on screen for you. I can't remember because it's been quite a while since I had it, but I loved that shade. It was beautiful one and done kind of shade. And then the Hourglass Scattered Lights Glitter Eyeshadows, they're $30 for 3.5 grams and they only have three shades on the website, but they also have a 4.5 star rating. Either one of these are just beautiful one and done glittery eyeshadows that I would highly recommend. The one I have with me is the Laura Mercier Caviar Cream Shadow Stick, $33. They have 28 shades. That's crazy. There's matte and shimmer finishes. They have three minis for $17. And the difference isn't very much in the minis and the regular. So the mini you get 1.1 grams and the full size is 1.64 grams. So I'm like, it doesn't seem like a very big jump for me, but maybe I'm wrong. I have the shade Strapless currently in the Laura Mercier and I love this shade. It's like a taupey rose shimmer is how I would say. I don't know. I just love this formula. It's an easy one and done kind of formula that you can definitely blend out. If I didn't have so many beautiful palettes, I would definitely purchase the Charlotte Tilbury and the Hourglass again. But right now I just don't need them, but I highly recommend them if that's more your style. Definitely check those out. Mascara. The Tower 28 Make Waves Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara, $20. You get 8 mLs. They have two shades now. This one's the shade Drift, and they also have it in black. The mini is $12, but I believe you can only get the mini in the black shade. Um, this has a four-star rating on Sephora. The wand is really nice, but it's like that rubbery bristle wand. I just love having... First of all, this formula is amazing for lengthening and separating your lashes, but I also love that I have a brown mascara now. The YSL Lash Clash Mascara, they have a brown shade that I've always wanted to try, but I've only ever tried it in black. 
But this one's beautiful. Highly recommend. It's very affordable for Sephora mascaras. Love it. Now, my favorite mascara of all time for my lower lashes is the Lancome Lash Edel. I've bragged about this for years. Some of these things that I'm going to talk about today are newer products, but these are just my OGs, like that will never be replaced. And I really don't think this ever will. So I have my backup here. This is how the wand looks and it is the rubber bristles as well, but it is perfectly curved to fit your lower lashes. It's just beautiful. It never ever smudges or flakes on me. It never transfers. I love this stuff. Sometimes you can find this on QVC for the duo and save some money that way. It is $30 for eight mLs, or you can get the mini for $16 and that is five mLs. And it has a 4.5 star rating on Sephora's website. Now, last but not least, the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. $19. It's even cheaper than the Tower 28. You get 10 mLs, so you even get more product. They have a mini for $12, which is 6.5 mLs, and it only has a 3.5 star rating on Sephora, and that bums me out because I don't feel like people are giving it a fair chance because, hear me out, this has just a average wand. Mine's a little bent because I uh, stabbed myself with it the other day, <laughs> but anyway, if you use too much of this too fast, it gets clumpy. So what I mean by that, curl your lashes first, okay? Put on a light layer of this and then just kind of move your lashes around with a lash comb or tweezers, whatever it takes to get them where you want them. And then add a little bit more so that way you have a nice coat of mascara, okay? Finish your makeup. Make sure you have dry lashes. Make sure this is completely dry, okay? And just give your lashes one or two more little squeezes with your lash curler, and you'll look like you're wearing falsies. It's stunning. I didn't have enough time today to really worry about it, so I didn't give them a, a second curl. But when you do, it lifts them so much, it makes them look just like false lashes. So I did not have like a full-on lash curler category because I only have one that I recommend. So I thought now I would mention the Shiseido Lash Curler. It is stunning. <laughs> so I'll put the price on the screen for you. And of course you can also get the little refill um, pad for like $7. I think you get two of them for seven maybe, but I'll put that on screen as well. I just wanted to show you what the packaging looks like. It's favorite, favorite mascara, but I only use it on my upper lashes eyeliner. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Waterproof Eye Pencils. Okay, I have the shade Demolition. I have two of them. One's almost gone and one's about half gone. $23, 1.2 grams, 33 shades available. 4.5 star rating. Okay, this is a no budge eyeliner. I love it. It's very creamy and it says it's waterproof. I'm not sure about that, but it is a very good formula. The next one is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Longwear Pencil, $24. It has 11 shades and 4.5 star rating. This one I absolutely love because you can use it as lip liner, whatever you feel like, but I have the shade Limitless Brown, and then I have the white shade that you could use on your lower lash line to make your eyes appear brighter. This came in like the holiday set last year. I'll put it on screen because they have it again. And if it's still available, I highly recommend because not only do you get these eyeliner shades, you also get the lip liner shades. So I, again, I just think it's a really good deal. They are mini size, but they last for a very long time. And I love them. The first Sephora item that I'm gonna recommend today Sephora Waterproof 12-Hour Retractable Pencil Eyeliner, and this one's in the shade Matte Brown. They do have shimmer and glitter finishes. They're only $14, and there are 18 shades. Four-star rating. It's just a beautiful liner, and this is actually what I'm wearing today in my upper waterline. So, love this product, and I will probably pick up more during the sale. All right, let's move into the lip category. Let's just start with these since I've already mentioned them. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. Again, they're $24. There's 11 shades. I have Anywhere Caffeine. 
and wherever walnut. So there you can see the difference. It's very slight difference, but anywhere caffeine is a little warmer, I didn't sharpen them, but anywhere caffeine is just a little bit warmer of a tone and it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I'll swatch it for you. So wherever walnut is right here, anywhere caffeine. They're very, very close. I would say wherever walnut's just a little bit more of a cooler tone, rosy pink, and then anywhere caffeine has more of that orange terracotta leaning base to it. Stunning. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheats. They're $25. There are 20 shades available and they have a 4.5 star rating. I've got a couple shades here to talk about Pillow Talk and Icon Baby. Pillow Talk is like the original. I used this on my friend for her wedding day. It's just a very light pink. If you don't want your lip liner to be so obvious, I would highly recommend that shade. And then Icon Baby is newer to me and it reminds me more of Anywhere of Caffeine. They're both beautiful and they are the longest lasting lip liner that I own next to the next product. The ABH Long Lasting Velvety Matte Lip Liners. They're $22 and there's 22 shades available. So these are the least expensive of the lip liners that I put in this and they're rated 4.5 stars. So the cheapest lip liner and probably the most long lasting next to the Charlotte Tilbury. I've got three shades, Deep Taupe, Rosewood, and Muted Mauve. These are stunning lip liners. I highly suggest them if you've not tried these out. Just gorgeous. Lip gloss. One of my favorite formulas is the ABH Universal Luminous Tinted Lip Glosses. They're $20. They have 20 shades. You get 4.5 mLs, and there are two different finishes. You can get the regular or like the shimmer glitter formula. They have a 4.5 star rating. I've got a few different shades. I have Guava. I have Deep Taupe. These came in a set last year. And then I have Soft Pink, which is probably my favorite. And then I also have a mini in the clear. So the mini, I don't know if this was like a gift with purchase or in a, like a set, but I did not see this available on the website. So I feel like this might not be available, but if you're able to get the clear shade, it's a beautiful gloss. Now, this is for the people that like a gloss that sticks to the lips. It's not sticky. It's not going to be goopy but it's not gonna go anywhere. If you know what I'm saying, like there's two different types of gloss lovers. There's the people that want their gloss to stay. There's the people that like more of like the oily, shiny, goes right off as soon as you drink or eat something. And I, I can appreciate the beautiful shiny glosses. I can appreciate that, but I just prefer something that's gonna stick on the lips. So ABH would be a definite suggestion if that's your vibe. This one is actually a plumping gloss, but for me, I just stuck it into this category because I wear it more of just a regular gloss because it's not that plumping in my opinion. I'm talking about the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. $26 for 3.3 mLs. So it's more expensive for less product, just saying. But they have 13 shades available or you can get a mini for 15 and it's got 1.7 mLs. Four star rating on Sephora's website. I have the shade Rosy Outlook. I have two of them actually. I just have a brand new one back up. This was actually purchased from uh, QVC. Let me show you. This is all I have on today with a lip liner, the Anywhere Caffeine. That's all I have on. I didn't wear any lipstick. I just used the lip liner all over my lips with the gloss. So I just wanted to show you, it does have like a minty feel and a little bit of a minty smell to it, but it's just a stunning gloss formula. This is another one that's kind of on that plumping line. Sephora Outrageous Plump and Hydrate Gloss, $14, eight shades, and it's got a four star rating. This is what it looks like. This one's in the shade Outrageous 
This one's very similar to the Lawless. This one's almost gone, but it's got this tiny little applicator that I love. And I'm a gloss fanatic, okay? I cleaned out my backpack the other day at work and I had like 20 glosses in there, if not more. It was insane. But I love lip gloss. And I feel like that is just a beautiful, more inexpensive gloss that you can throw in your bag, throw in your purse, go and just, you'll love it. It's so pretty. Before I move on to lip oil, I did want to mention this. The ABH Lip Velvet, it's a moussey texture that's like a liquid lipstick slash gloss formula, but it's more of a matte finish. I have it in Peachy Nude. This, I didn't have like a liquid lip category because I don't really care for liquid lips, but this one is unique. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is the shade. This looked like the lightest shade on the website, but on the lips, it's not that light. Let me show you. Like on the website, it looked like a very pale pink that I thought I could use to lighten some of the darker shades that I own up, but this, it's pretty dark compared to what it shows on the website. So I'm gonna show you guys, tell me what you think, if I'm crazy, but I think that looks way different. But I do like the formula. I just wish there was some lighter shades. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and mention this because I would recommend this formula. Moving on to lip oil. The House Labs PHD Hybrid Tinted Lip Oil, they are $26 and you get seven mLs. There are five shades. There are three shades available in a mini size for 16. They have a four star rating. They're really nice. I have this, this is the Lip Glaze Gloss. This one's not the oil, so I must have already used the oil. But this one's in Praline. This is what the oil looks like as well. These are stunning. Either one, the lip glaze or the oil, they're beautiful. Love them. Highly recommend them. Next up is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Glosses. Now, the reason I put these in this category is because they're an oil gloss hybrid. You can get a full size for $33 at 6 mLs, or you can get the minis on like QVC. I bought a set on QVC and that's where these came from. They have 10 regular shades and then they have three shimmer finishes. A four star rating. I have the shades New Romantic and Free Spirit. These are the regular formula. And then I have the shimmer formula in Bellini. The Bellini is probably my favorite because I love how it just gives you a little bit of shimmer on the lips. But it's a beautiful formula. Like I said, it's a hybrid of a gloss and an oil. And I just really, really enjoy it. Last but not least, the Dior Lip Glow Oil. They're $40, so they are so pricey for 0.2 ounces, 11 shades, and a four-star rating. They're just, this is a little sample that I got. They are so good. I'm telling you, I, <laughs> I hate to recommend a $40 lip oil, but if you want it, it's good. So let's just say it like that. If you want it, if you wanted to try it, I would recommend it. It's a good formula. Moving on to lip plumpers. The Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Polishes, stunning. I've got two different ones. I've got the Full On Plumping Lip Polish in White Russian Sparkle, which is probably my favorite. It's almost used up. And then I have the Full On Plumping Lip Cream it's also in White Russian, but it's just the regular White Russian. It doesn't have any sparkle to it, but these are so good, you guys. I love them. Highly recommend them. And you get 4.5 mLs for $25. They only have three shades available on Sephora's website. I don't know what that's about, but it's a 4.5 star rated product. And they're also available on QVC. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Ulta, but these are really good. Next, I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Glosses. They're $26. They have 16 shades and they have a four star rating. Look how many I have, you guys. Shimmery ones are from like a limited collection on QVC that I got. I've got Primrose and Dragon Fruit. And then the original lip plumps, they have this rose gold packaging. I have Smitten, Bundle Up, Peachy Beige, 
mixed berries, and frosty. Cherry blossom and white peach are also favorites, but I've ran out of those two. But this is a phenomenal formula. I highly recommend the Tarte Maracuja Plumping Glosses. So good. Now, the last one is also a Sephora recommendation. It's the Sephora Outrageous Intense Plump and Hydrate Gloss. $14. There are three shades in its 6 ml, four-star rating. This one is Outrageous Intense. So it's got the red cap. Now, this one has been in my backpack for a long time. It probably just needs thrown away because it used to be white. And now because I've mixed it with so many different lip liners, it's no longer white. I only pulled that out to show you guys, but it's definitely going to be tossed out. But that is a beautiful lip plumper. And it says intense, which it is, but it's not too bad. It's not like a lip injection from Too Faced or anything like that. But highly recommend. And it's Sephora, so it's affordable and going to be 30% off lipsticks. I'm absolutely obsessed with the ABH long wearing matte and satin velvet lipsticks. They're $23. There's 24 different shades and finishes and it has a 4.5 star rating. Teased is my absolute favorite. I've already went through one of these recently and this is my backup. The bullet is so pretty. Love, love, love this lipstick. It's my top favorite. Next one is the Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipstick. They're $28 and there are 18 shades available. It has a 4.5 star rating. The packaging, super nice, but I will say it feels a little flimsy when you turn this. The actual lipstick itself, whenever you're applying it, be very careful. Don't turn it up too far because I feel like it's very flimsy inside. Um, so it's kind of weird how this can feel so heavy and weighted and then the inside be so flimsy. I don't understand that. But anyway, this is the shade Flatiron. And again, this kind of let me down with the shade. It's way darker than it looked like online. Um, let me swatch it carefully. Online, it just looked a lot lighter to me. On my lips, it looks pretty dark. But it's a beautiful formula. I again just felt a little let down by the shade, but I love the formula. Kosas Wet Stick Shiny Sheer Lipstick with Ceramides, $24 for three grams, and there are 12 shades, 4.5 star rating. I have the shade Baby Rose. It's so pretty. It's a lipstick in like a gloss hybrid. So when you put it on, it's very sheer, very shiny. It doesn't last very long on the lips, but it is a gorgeous formula, and it is one of my top favorites, so there you go. Now, this is an honorable mention, and the reason I didn't include it is because I couldn't find this shade on Sephora. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Runway Royalty Lipstick. This is what the packaging looks like, and the shade Runway Royalty is like this beautiful mauve pink cool tone shade that I absolutely love it. But I couldn't find it on Sephora, so I didn't want to recommend something that you couldn't find. But I also wanted to mention it just in case you can find it somewhere else. <laughs> the next category in lips is lip balms. Probably my number one pick from Sephora is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms. I actually purchased the little mini set that's available right now for my daughter, but it's up in her room. But they have this in that mini set. It's the iced coffee. It's beautiful. It's my favorite shade. Favorite flavor, too. <laughs> It smells so good. They are $24. You get 15 grams of product and they have nine shades available. 4.5 star rating. Iced coffee is by far my favorite. And then I would say pink sugar is a close second. Um, they did have a birthday cake flavor. I don't know what I did with mine, but I love that one too. And it had a little bit of shimmer to it. They are just so good. The next one is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balms Ultra Hydrating Lip Balms. $26. They have four shades and they have a 4.5 star rating. This was purchased, like I said, from QVC. I'll put it on screen for you guys, but these are $26 at Sephora and I got this set for like 40 something. I'll have to, again, put it on screen because I can't remember. But I had the regular, I don't remember what the flavor was, but it was a regular shade of this years ago and I loved it. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to get that again. I haven't had it in a long time. This is like a balm gloss hybrid. 
It's very hydrating. It doesn't feel too sticky, but it does grip to your lips so that it doesn't want to budge. I love this formula and it just says ultra hydrating and nourishing lip treatment conditioning and soothing and they have beautiful little shades here so you have this pink watermelon one you have the mango which is more of like the orange tone but on the lips they don't have that much color to them this one has a little shimmer to it i didn't notice that the pink did and then banana is the yellow and it looks like it might have a little shimmer to it too but these are phenomenal and I don't hear much talk about them anymore. They used to be very popular, but they popped up on QVC as a new item and I just had to grab the set. Next one I don't have anymore. It's the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. They are $24 and there are 20 shades. They do have a mini option for $14, but they only offer it in Pink Glow. Pink Glow is actually the one that I owned in the past and it has a four star rating. They are beautiful and they are more of that glossy balm hybrid. So beautiful on the lips, very hydrating, really good option. Last in the lip category is lip masks. The Tatcha Kiss You Lip Masks, they're $29 and they have nine mLs of product. You can get the original, which is this one. And here's the little spatula that comes with it. Gorgeous. Or they have the Orange Blossom Limited Edition. Now, I have one in the shade Plum, I believe. Yeah, Plum Blossom. This one was Limited Edition, I believe, last year. And I love this, but it's very pink. So, I prefer to wear this just to go out in the spring or summer. If I don't want to wear much on my lips, just pop this on. Love it. This is what the Tatcha lip mask looks like in the packaging. It is a really good lip mask. The Laneige is probably my second favorite. This is the lip sleeping mask. It is $24. There are six shades. You get 20 mLs of product, so you get quite a bit. And it has a 4.5 star rating. There is a limited edition mini set. And last year I did purchase that. And this one's Gummy Bear. So this was in the set last year. You don't get very much product in these, but I still have a little bit of this one left and I gave some to my daughter. The chocolate I have here, I love this one. Every time I put this on before bed, my dog goes crazy. But love the Laneige, but I think the Tatcha would be my favorite. Now the Ola Henriksen Pout Preserve Hydrating Lip Peptide Lip Treatment, long name, $22. You get 12 mLs and there are five shades. It's 4.5 star rating. Everybody raves about this and I like it, but I don't like it to wear out and about. Like I like to wear this before bed. I have it in the shade Strawberry Sorbet. It's very thick on the lips. So I find that it's a little too sticky and goopy to wear during the day, but I do really enjoy this to wear to bed because when I wake up, my lips are super hydrating. Hydrating is the word. Go to part two.